Yo, 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 what a bomb. Oh my god, what's up, guys? Jump back into the video, and today, man, coming out show some more NBA breaking news. Like, what the actual fuck is going on right now, bro? Look at this tweet from Moses, man. What the hell? Free agent for Carmelo Anthony has agreed to a one year deal with the LA Lakers. Like, this just has to stop. Like, they're just getting all the veteran free agents. I promise you, it's not like a veteran's minimum. Like, Melo was rumored to go to the Lakers for multiple years now uh, before he went to the uh, Rockets, before he went to the Blazers. And now he's been in the Lakers with his best friend LeBron James. Like, bro, this just has to stop. Like, like, come on. Like, they just can't get every veteran. Like, this just has to stop. Like, this just actually has to stop. And they just have somebody else who's oh, making a video on this well right after this as well. I'm probably either the MLE or another veteran minimum. So, Lakers, Lakers fans, y'all just getting... All these veteran players, man. But yeah, Melo is officially going to the Lakers. Probably like on a one-year veteran minimum deal with his best friend LeBron James. They now have a uh, new shooting guard, which I'm making a video on. They now have they now have uh, Wayne Ellington, Trevor Reza. So how he just came back for his third stint with y'all. But Melo is going to the Lakers. Lakers fans, how do you feel about this? Like I said, Melo has been rumored for literally years to go to the Lakers. Now he's obviously there. Probably be replacing, I would say, Kyle Kuzma being their backup power forward. And my, I believe Marquis Morris as well was a free agent as well i think so don't call me on that yeah i believe mark keith morris is a free agent kuzma obviously now in the wizards they do need more power forwards even though they did get trevor reza obviously having mellow as well as a great score off the bench would be great because i don't really see mellow being a starter honestly because he's not a really good defender but off the bench he's obviously a pretty good scorer still has those moments where he does can go off with a signature uh, uh step back mid-ranges that silky smooth mid-range shot can still shoot the three-point shot and yeah, the chemistry between him and LeBron is like top tier. So yeah, obviously no better move for the uh, Lakers to go ahead and get Carmelo Anthony, pair him up with LeBron James and the Lakers and create the core of the bench of a couple of good, notable uh, veteran free agents. So Lakers friends, how do you feel about uh, having Melo in your team? Carmelo Anthony, man, I think he's like 37, 36 now. Has a couple of years left in him, but he's still playing pretty good. Let's see with the Blazers. Had a definitely big resurgence there with the late with the uh, Blazers. I would like to continue that with the Lakers and his best friend, LeBron James. Like, bro, this is hard to stop. The Lakers just can't get every single little bit of reason. Like, come on now. Like, I promise you, these are all going to be, like, veteran minimums or MLEs. Like, bro, this is what this is just what being a big market team just gets you. You can literally sign everybody that you want as long as the money matches. And having out like LeBron in your team with AD and Russ. Who doesn't want to play for that team, man? And play in LA, big uh, market, staple center, man. Who doesn't want to play for the Lakers? But yeah, Melo to the Lakers confirmed, man. Melo to the Lakers, man. According to Woj. Carmelo Anthony to the LA Lakers, man. Shocking, but... Yup. Free agent Garmalik Monk has agreed to a deal with the LA Lakers. Sources tell me he's been probably on a minimum deal as well, just like Carmelo Anthony just like dwight howard and yeah malik monk literally a great sixth man great score off the bench he's going to the lakers they miss out on buddy hill but they get malik monk another great um scorer great shooter pretty streaky had a couple off the course i believe he got suspended for pds or drugs something like that crack cocaine i forgot what it was but no it was a substance that was better in the NBA, and I believe he got suspended for a little bit. But yeah, Malik Monk to the Lakers. Like I said, they missed out on Buddy Hield, but they get Malik Monk on a probably a veteran minimum. Like the Lakers, like, like I said, the Lakers can get anybody that they want as long as the money adds up and matches up, okay? Anybody wants to play, everybody their mother wants to play with LeBron, AD, and Russ and get a free ring. I said, look to get this year. It's either them or the Nets, honestly. So look for a lot of free agents to sign with the Lakers or the Nets. In terms of getting to get a chance to get a ring, which would be the first, honestly. So, yeah. Malik Monk, former Hornet, uh, former Kentucky uh, player. The guy that was compared to Kobe Bryant, five-star recruit, really good scorer. He's not going to the Lakers with uh, LeBron, AD, Russ, and the rest of the Lakers. Wow, okay. So, I think he probably will start or be a backup, honestly. Because I think the roster right now is what? Russ, uh, I don't know who be a shooting guard. LeBron at the four, like there's a lot to do with this roster. I'm not gonna lie. Well, Melo start at the four. I know they will start a DS center. They said this season, so power forward might be Melo, might be um Marcus Soul White. I mean, they're both centers, but 
Uh, I see probably one of them starting on a seat, either Marcus Solar Dwight or maybe Marcus Sol being their third string. I really don't even know, honestly. That roster has honestly a pretty good, decent amount of uh, depth. So, I mean, they're all pretty old now and out of their prime, but obviously still pretty competent players in the league. Um, But yeah, they have Malik Monk to that. Probably, I think, in my opinion, is the star in that team, honestly. And I heard that they might be interested in re and, uh, reacquiring Danny Green for agency this season. I mean, I honestly don't even know. But yeah, Malik Monk to the Lakers probably will start. I mean, if I was the coach of the Lakers, Frank Vogel, I probably would start him for spacing because they have Russ, LeBron, AD, pretty good shooter. LeBron's pretty streaky, and Russ obviously not a good three-point shooter, but honestly pretty good mid-range shooter. But yeah, Malik Monk to the Lakers, man. Lakers fans, how y'all feeling about that? Y'all now have Melo, y'all now have this, y'all have that, y'all have... So now your full roster as of right now is LeBron, AD, Russ, Melo, Malik, Monk, Dwight, Marcus Gasol, Trevor Reza, Wayne Ellington, Ken Bazemore, and Alfonso McKinney. So how are y'all feeling about that? Like I said, Lakers this season, I believe, will be starting AD at center. So look for... Melo or Reza, maybe another power forward to start for them on a veteran minimum. But yeah, Lakers fans, how are y'all feeling about this roster? And how y'all feeling about getting Malik Monk on a steal of a veteran minimum? Man, the rich just gets rich. A lot of veteran free agents, though. Holy, a lot of veteran free agents going to the Lakers, man. Lakers fans, how do y'all feel about that, man? Other than that, man, Melo to the Lakers, man. I'm happy for Melo. I'm a big Melo fan. And let's see if Melo can win a ring, man. Nice. But other than that, y'all, that is going to be sure to go down below. Drop a like, comment down below. So, what, Mr. Follow me on Twitch, Twitter, and TikTok. It's your boy John. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I'm out, man. Peace.